Hey guys, sorry it's been so long since my last video. I have been crazy, crazy busy around here with work-related items, holiday stuff, some family issues that have come up, so I'm really sorry that it's been forever and a day since I posted a video on here. But I wanted to quick get something up for you guys, so it's really early in the morning. Um, I've done my hair and my makeup for the day, but I have not gotten dressed. I'm coming to you in my PJs actually right now. So today's video is going to be a quick review of my December Ipsy Glam Bag. And so for those of you who I'm sure almost everyone and their mom knows what that is, but I'm just going to give you a quick rundown of what it is just in case you've never heard of it. Ipsy used to be my glam. They changed their name to Ipsy. It's a $10 a month um, beauty subscription service where you will get four or five um, deluxe sample to travel to full size beauty items. They can be skincare, it can be nail polish, it can be makeup, primer, um, assortment of things that you get and it comes in a cute little makeup bag that you can reuse and put in your purse or put in your you know travel bags or your school bags whatever and then usually you get some kind of coupons and they'll send you emails throughout the month with special deals on the full-size versions of the products that you were sent so the first thing that we got was a little um, holiday brochure from just fab if you don't know what Just Fab is, they're a monthly shoe subscription service. I highly recommend them. Go check them out. But Ipsy is one of their kind of guest celebrity designers. So the girls of Ipsy um, make picks every month of their favorite handbags and shoe items that they love um, every month. And this came with a coupon for $20 off your purchase. But it's for new Just Fab members only, which is a major, major bummer to me because I am not a new member. I've been a member for a while now, and every month we get these, and it just bums me out that I can't use them because I'm not a new member. So kind of a bummer. The next thing that we got was a little postcard that um, is reminding us that we can purchase gift subscriptions to give to our friends and family um, at the holidays or any time of year. And this is just a really cute little postcard that we could go purchase a gift subscription for a friend or family member and then give them this postcard kind of saying, hey, look what I got you. And so that I think would be a really great Christmas gift. I get that it's a $10 a month subscription, but I think you could probably purchase them like for just a month or for three months or for six months or whatever. So you can definitely check that out. But I think that would be a really great gift to give, you know, the beauty junkie in your life. So definitely check that out if you think that might work for you. And then every month we also get a little postcard with whatever the theme is. And, of course, it's happy hot holidays. Hot like H-A-U-T, like hot couture fashion or haute couture, however you say that. I say hot, but. That may not be correct. And then on the back, it gives a little bit of information about all the different products that we are getting um, in our current bag. And this month, we're getting products from Urban Decay, NYX, My Couture, Mirabella, and Bombshell. So that's kind of exciting. And most of these are really deluxe to full-size samples. So I think these are really great. The bag that we got this month is a gray little bag. It's kind of shiny. It's kind of cool. The bags are getting better. I mean, I... I've never been, I never thought that they were crap, but they've definitely been getting better. And this one's got kind of a hard bottom to it so that when you set it down, it's going to stay standing up and it won't, you know, kind of collapse in on itself. And then the inside of the bag is bright pink and it says Ipsy all over on the inside. So I think this is a really great like pencil bag. You could use this for your actual pencils for school or to keep eyeliners, lip liners, shadow sticks, um, lip crayons and those sorts of, you know, pencil type items or, you know, eyeliners, the like liquid eyeliners that look like markers. Those would be a really great thing to fit in here. Or you could put lipsticks and stuff and put it in your purse. I think that would be really great. The first item that we got is a My Couture St. Bart's highlighter paper. I've heard of this brand, but I've never actually owned anything from them. So this is kind of cool to me, which is one of the things I like. Um, it seems like a lot of the things that we get are from brands a few like NYX and Urban Decay that most everyone's tried something from there um, before. But a lot of these brands I've never heard of or they're brands I've heard of. I've just not been able to try anything from there. So you get 25 sheets in here and these look a lot like um, beauty blotter tissues. But these are highlighters. So these are not, if you have oily skin, these are not what you want to reach for. Get actual beauty blotters to blot your skin and then use these as a highlighting paper. And then on the back here, it gives you a little diagram of how to highlight your face using these papers. I think this is fabulous because this is so skinny and so small that this could go in any clutch that you have inside of your makeup bag, within your purse, um, that you could take and carry with you any time of year, but definitely at the holiday times and a great way to touch up without having to bring a compact and a brush and all that other stuff. You can just bring this and go into the restroom or the ladies room, whatever you call it, and kind of when you're powdering your nose, so to speak, um, you can 
freshen up your highlighters. So I think that's really great. I'm excited to give those a try. The next item that we've got is an item from Mirabella, and this is, it's a face primer. Let me just see. I think it's just called Prime. I can't, which is funny because that makes me think of like Optimus Prime from the Transformers, and I'm a huge nerd, so it's cool. Uh, this is a huge, so it's just called Mirabella Prime, and this is a huge container. I'm going to guess that this is full size. It is 0.45 U.S. ounces, and it is for face and eyes, which I think is really great. I have not used this yet, so let's kind of check this out. It's got just kind of your typical long pointed squeezy tube, and oh, and it's totally clear. <laughs> so that's kind of that's kind of odd, but I'm just kind of rubbing it on my hand. You're not going to be able to see that, but it's totally clear, so it isn't like a primer potion like from Urban Decay where it's um, white. This is totally clear. So, it does have some ingredients on the back of it, so if you are sensitive to certain ingredients um, in primer, I would definitely make sure you check that out before you put it all over your face, but I have not used that yet. I typically don't have a lot of good luck with primers. Um, in the past, when I've tried them, they make my face break out or they just make my face really greasy, which is weird because I have dry skin, but that's just been my experience. I have yet to find one that I really truly like so I'll give that one a try and just see and if not I can definitely give it away to a friend who will enjoy that as well. The next item that we got is from Be A Bombshell and it is a lip gloss in, in the shade Hot Mess. So before I even saw the color I was already like I like this shade already. I just like the name because I think it's hilarious and I'm wearing it today and it is a bright red shade and so I love this color, but as you can see, there's the applicator. I'll put some swatches on my hand, and you guys can see that. But I have it on my lips, and I don't think, I mean, you see this in the tube. You see how bright it is, but you can kind of see from the swatch on my hand as well as on my lips that it is not this bright. So when you get, if you've got this bag and you've got this color and you haven't tried this but you're just looking at it going, no way, just try it. Just try it. Because it's pretty sheer, so you'd have to really, I think, apply a buttload of this on your lips to get it to be that bright. Um, but I think just kind of a quick couple coats of it. I would totally wear this every day, and I don't think it's that obnoxious. It's definitely not like a Gwen Stefani red lip, but if you put red lipstick on underneath and added it over the top, I think that would be really great. And if it's still too bright for you, you know, try putting a different color, like nude gloss or, you know, berry, or just experiment, you know, just play with it and just kind of put different colors underneath and then use that over the top. And you might be really surprised that you could make um, an otherwise kind of blah lip color into something that you really like. So I highly encourage people when they get these to use those to experiment with and play with because a lot of times those glosses are very, very sheer. So the obnoxious color they are in the tube isn't going to be the color on your lips. Sometimes they are very opaque and so whatever color they're in the tube, they are going to be that color on your lip. But most of the time they're pretty sure, sheer. Anyway, so the next thing that we got is from NYX, and this is Ultra Pearl Mania, and this is kind of a loose, um, powdery eyeshadow. I've got mine in the shade Charcoal Pearl. There were several different shade options that everyone um, got a different thing. I think everyone got the same red lip gloss, though. Um, I have never used a loose eyeshadow like this, but I don't know if you guys can kind of see in the tube. I don't want to spill everywhere, but it's like loose pigment eyeshadow in here. So I'm kind of excited to, to use this, and I'm excited that I got a little bit more of a, what I would say is a neutral color. I mean, in the charcoal, and that I can experiment with this and make this, you know, very wearable for every day, as well as an ultra smoky eye for going out at night or whatever. Um, there were a few more, a little bit like greens and blues and golds that I feel like for me would just not be something I would wear on a regular basis. So I'm glad I got that color. Um, the next item that I have, and this is the last item we got, is an Urban Decay 24-7 liner pencil in the shade Zero. Um, I have never used Urban Decay eyeliners until I started getting an Ipsy My Glam bag, and I got one in the shade Perversion like in April or May of this year. I can't remember when we got it, but I'm still using it, and I use it almost every day, and it is amazing. If you've never tried these before, they are expensive. I want to say they're about $19 each full size, and this is a really good size sample. This is not full size, but you're 
you're going to get quite a bit of use out of this, even if you're using it every day, because you don't need much, and it will last for flipping ever. Um, but this is just a black pencil eyeliner, and I did have to go look this up to see why this was any different than the shade Perversion that I have, but Perversion is like the blackest of black eyeliners, and this is just a black eyeliner. So in terms of um, how that's going to look on my eye, I really... Really can't tell you, but we'll see when I try it on. Um, I love these because they're long wearing. Clearly, they're supposed to be 24/7, and they, you know, you can really smudge them out. They're great on your waterline. So I really am excited about that. So that's everything that I got in my bag. I really like everything that I got. Um, I haven't tried all of it, but I'm excited to try it. It definitely seems like things that I would actually use. So that's really good. So now that this video is almost 11 minutes long, I'm going to go and finish getting ready for the day. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I will see you sooner than later in the next video. Bye, guys.